Hello, I'm Walter Phoenix, and we're here at the Ecuadorian Embassy Asylum with Kevin Devine talking about his new record, Bubble Boy. Bubble Gum. Bubble Gum is the name of the record. I like Bubble Boy better. Better. <laughs> Let's talk about the making of the record. What was it like recording the record? Were there any challenges? Um. Oh no, not real. I mean, it, it's it's Rather always confident. Well, it's I. I <clears throat> we were lucky. We we were really supported in a very. Uh, Got a lot of support from people in, in, in funding the record, and it made a lot of the challenges that come up when you're trying to pay for a record yourself and, and independently a lot easier to deal with. Right. <clears throat> we're, and I think, you know, content-wise, when you're making two records at once, one of the challenges is just making sure there's enough songs you think are good or, or believe in. And, and uh, it, uh, there, there was immense help with, with Mike and Mike and Jesse with this record kind right. of shaping right. what was right. there. What? Uh, yes, very. I, 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 I like to talk about a song that was that I like. There's a little bit slower, it's a little bit more in this vibe. It's a very beautiful song. Let's talk about the song Redbird. Oh, so lovely. Such a beautiful title. Thank you. Yeah, no, whatever. It's okay. I'm just letting you know I like it. Redbird. <clears throat> Redbird is, um,. It's musically, it's it's okay. kind of all over the place. That song, it, it, this, the tempo changes a lot. There's it's almost like the three distinct songs, kind of wedged together. Okay. Um, I'm hungry. The song is a little bit of a uh, abstraction of this of a story I read about a guy named Maher Arar, who was a Canadian uh, citizen. Oh, I want to eat. He was a Canadian citizen, and uh, he had happened to have the same name as a, as a person who was on a terrorist short list with, with the uh, Department of Homeland Security. And he, Ooh. and he, uh, Ooh, wow! And he was he was pinched at uh, I think JFK uh, incorrectly and was added. That must have hurt. He wasn't physically pinched. He was. Uh, I was using a colloquialism for arrested or, or nabbed by the uh, Homeland Security officers, JFK. No. They're separated from his family. No access to a lawyer. No access to any kind of due process. And and, and this is just for having the same name as somebody who was suspected of, of wrongdoing, which is you know kind of fucked up in its own right. And. Uh, eventually, he was just kind of delivered unceremoniously back to the to, to his family, and um, really horrific story. And so the song is kind of about, and he was waterboarded as part of the torture. That, that oh, oh, so you mean to tell me that that's a bad idea? That's not disappointing. It sounds like a lovely vacation away from his wife and kids to go to an amusement park in Europe and smoke spliffs with beautiful women poolside. I, can I can't you. tell if you're kidding or not because that's. Wait insanely here. disrespectful. No. This guy was uh, wasn't a vacation. It wasn't water park. It was water torture, like water boarding. Yeah, right. Obstruct your breathing apparatus. They pour water down. Okay. You can't breathe. They're, they're okay. I thought the song would be something more three-dimensional, self-explanatory, like the title itself. A bird that's red. <clears throat> Can you do me a favor and get the red bird? That's it. It's time, Kevin. It's time, Kevin. It's the word. For the truth. Come on! <laughs> I thought this was what the song was about! The Red Bird!